Devlis, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, hit that like button, and hit the notification bell so that you guys can receive updates as soon as these uh, videos go up for you guys. We have tons of new videos coming up. All right, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. We're going to start off with the Oracle cards, then we're going to quickly jump into the Tarot. So let's get into it, Cancer. Let's see what Spirit has. Now, your first card here is Financial Constraints, Man Holding a Heart, and the World card. All right. So, Cancers, um, you may be currently experiencing a bit of blockages in regards to finances. Uh, this could be either that there's been less work, you haven't been working, um, you know, your normal hours for others of you. It could be just having difficulty right now. And I know that this is something that is greatly affecting everyone in many different aspects of our life. But financial constraints could be uh, currently affecting the connection or relationship or Anything that has to do in your romantic sector, it could be that you're extremely focused or trying to achieve certain type of goals um, and working towards them for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for a while. It could represent that that has been your priority for now and it's kind of like romance has taken a backseat for you guys. Nonetheless, I do see men holding a heart. So I do see a new energy coming in, especially with this world card here. This could be a person that's coming towards you. It could be both male or female. It doesn't have to be a male. Remember, these are energies. Um, this could be an energy of a new person coming in for you guys. And with the world card, it could be a person that is perhaps not the type that you usually are drawn to. This could be an individual that either has um, traveled or that is traveling when you meet this person. Uh, it could be that they're not necessarily where you're from, from the country you're from, or the city that you're from. Uh, however, this can also represent that they are uh, coming towards you because they're going into a new cycle in their life where perhaps travel is something that is going to take priority for them because they're chasing some type of goal or aspiration. So it could be kind of like uh, if you were, as an example, if you live in apartments or something like that, it could be that a new person is moving in because they're chasing or pursuing their career. Uh, they may not necessarily be, like I said, from the same country or the same background that you are. Um, however, they are coming towards your vicinity. They are coming towards you. And this is the beginning or, or, or the start of something that could potentially grow into something stronger. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, it may represent that you guys are currently having a bit of stress or your partner's dealing with a bit of stress because uh, they are either dealing with situations in the workplace that may be a bit uh, overwhelming for them. However, this is quickly coming to an end with the world card. It is the beginning of a new cycle. Okay. All right, Cancers, let's get into your tarot and let's see what spirit has for you guys. <clears throat> now, the cards that represent your partner is the Knight of Cups. This is for your partner, the person of your interest. Knight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Star card. Okay, so these are the cards that are representing or the energies that are currently influencing the person of your interest or your partner. With the Knight of Cups, I do see them emotionally open, uh, coming towards you or um, having with the Four of Cups, it's almost like they are trying to create something is what I'm hearing. So again, it could be that they're on the pursuit of some type of career, some type of goal, some type of aspiration that they're wanting to manifest in their life. With the Four of Cups, it's like they're not really being able to see. Um, there is some uncertainty that is connected there, and I think that that's where the stress is coming from. Now, for those of you guys that are interested in a person, you may feel that they're disconnected or perhaps not communicating as much as you would want them to. Uh, with the Four of Cups, it's like they are waiting or they're expecting um, some type of materialization to happen for them. Now, this could be that they themselves, um, you may be dealing with the person that perhaps is shy uh, or a person that is very slow in taking action with the four of cups it's like they're still trying to decide however 
with the star card they do see you as a um basically a person that they've been wanting or a individual uh, that has great potential so they see a lot of potential in you cancer now the cards that are representing you is the queen of swords the eight of cups and the tower card okay heavy energy here now for some of you guys you could be dealing with a situation where perhaps there was some type of separation some type of disconnect uh some type of someone in this connection walked away from this situation now this could have been you or this could have been the person of your interest with the queen of swords i see you getting to the point of perhaps having to make decisions decisions that are not necessarily decisions you want to take but you feel that at this point it is necessary perhaps for your sanity perhaps for your well-being with the eight of cups you're definitely walking away or walking from a chaotic type of situation with the tower card and i feel that the tower card already happened so it could have been a situation where there was some type of illumination here in regards to the partner um now with the four of cups and the star card it could represent that they were um, perhaps not being completely honest or completely transparent in regards to what they were doing behind the scenes. Um, with the Four of Cups, it's kind of like, uh, you know, having the blessings but not really seeing the blessings because they're so caught up on a new pursuit or they're so caught up in, uh, like I said, trying to achieve some type of goal or some type of uh, something that is more... Um, in their energy field versus like dealing with the partnership or the relationship itself. Um, I do want to mention, however, here with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups, I feel that you, Cancer, you've gotten to the point where it's like, yeah, I've been trying, you know, I've been trying, I've been trying to be patient, I've been trying to uh, get them to open up with the Four of Cups, they're refusing to do so or they i feel like they've been taking me for granted i feel like they are not no longer trying to put the effort or the energy uh, something happened here in this situation where there was some type of illumination there was some type of seeing things more clearly and based off of that i see you making the decision to walk away uh, with the tower this is major transformative so it could be news or something that came to you or will be coming to you now, I do have the Six of Cups here with the Hierophant, uh, the Sun card here next to the Two of Coins. So it could have been a situation where perhaps the person that you were dealing with, for some of you, uh, probably wasn't being honest. Perhaps they, you know, kind of made you think that they were single uh, or they kept the fact that they had children. Uh, they weren't forthcoming with that information. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could have came as a surprise. Uh, again with the sun and the star card illumination the truth coming out the balance um and being able to make a decision based off of what you're knowing or what you're finding out um however i do see that this person does have uh they do have feelings towards you and they are trying to uh remedy the situation i feel that for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that perhaps there's a separation. There was like a marriage or they were living with someone or they have children with someone. Uh, they were still trying to figure that out. And I feel that for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where you weren't aware of this. Um, and with the tower, like the information came through or the realization or the scene or finding out that they did in fact have children or that they were dealing with some type of commitment here. Um, you made the decision to walk away from that, uh, trying to keep your, um, this is about self-care is what they're telling me. So for some of you guys, it could have been like, that's where you drew the line. Um, however, I do see them coming back around. I do see communication opening up and trying to get, um, trying to get some type of remedy from this. I, I see them trying to restore the connection with the sun and two of coins, I feel that this person did bring um, or made you feel that you can think or it made you excited about thinking of the future. However, uh, with the sun card and the two of coins, it could have been like uh, something that you were very attached to, an illusion, a desire, something that you wanted to manifest very like strongly. Um, and there's a feeling of disappointment here, but what Spirit is telling you is 
I do see another connection coming through for you, Cancers. And if you are dealing with this situation and it is resonating, um, always, I always tell you guys, whatever resonates with you, take that. If it doesn't resonate, do not try to force it to fit your situation. Um, it is a general reading, but if you are connecting with this message, keep in mind that if you are dealing with this type of energy, um, sometimes, and it's unfortunate because sometimes it, it could be a situation where the person does genuinely care for you, but they're so scared of what you would say or how you would react if they tell you or if they told you like, hey, you know, the truth is I do have children or the truth is that I'm just getting out of a committed relationship, but I feel the connection so strong with you um, or that they are, you know, if has it ever happened? Well, obviously you're dealing with this where you're dealing with the person. And it's like the timing is not right. Um, I feel very heavily that that's what's that's what's happening here. And I do see a new person coming towards you, Cancer. However, um, I feel that you're going to you're going to be very tempted to give this person another chance. Um, and again, like I said, I don't feel like they kept this whatever it is that they kept from you. I don't feel that they were doing it in a very malice way. I feel that they were, in fact, very scared of what your reaction would be or they thought that you would push them away um, or you wouldn't believe them, you know. So I feel that they are trying to they're going to try to remedy the situation. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I feel that you're getting to the point right now where you're starting to really take inventory of of your life right now and is this marriage working out for me are you being there because of the children are you being there because you feel like you're scared to be alone and the reason I'm saying this is I do see them like emotionally checked out and I feel that you're very like weighing the options for some of you guys it could be that you feel like you've gotten to a point where they've grown comfortable they're no longer trying to uh you know, win you over. They're no longer putting in the effort to try to uh, keep the relationship going or keep it, you know, spice up the relationship. And I feel that you've been suppressing your unhappiness for quite a while with the star and the two of coins here. So again, it is coming to surface. A lot of it has to do with the planet alignments right now that we're dealing with. Uh, keep in mind, we are uploading this on the 11th, um, tomorrow the 12th. There's going to be a lot of emotional turmoil and a feeling of, you know, there is a need for rebirth. There is a need for a new beginning. And with that new beginning, sometimes it does bring about endings. So just be mindful of that. I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.